Okay, so, um, I was sitting here and I saw that somebody was asking in group chat about how to do this, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial about it. It's simply about using a Boolean modifier and, um, taking plain text from, um, something like GIMP or, uh, maybe a photo of a lo logo, anything you want, you can, um, use for this inside a blender and it's really a cool way of doing it um so here i've just typed out my name on a regular piece of uh, paper i guess inside of gimp and i'm going to go to file and export it and let me go ahead and get my folder here so um export to or convert to is the name of my folder. So uh, let me just put Haven. Whoops. And then export it. That's just a PNG. So that's good. Then we go to this program called Inkscape. And you can do this with. Um, Adobe Illustrator as well. So here I'm going to go to File and Open. And here I've got my SVG and I've got Embedded. So I'm going to click OK. And it moves the screen all the time. So here I have it select um, in my thing. My selection tool, I'll just click on it so that this is selected. And like I said, there we go. So it's selected. Um, once this is selected, I'm going to go to the path and trace bitmap. So wait for this to pop up. I want to remove the background um, of this here. So I put that on because I don't want that there. And you can do a few other things if you want to, but this should be okay. We can turn the colors down and click update. And we're going to do it again. Click update. Um, my, my, um, my Inkscape doesn't work as well as I'd like it to, uh, but it is a free program, so it's nice to have in this is actually good, so I did okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on the close button there. And now when I click on this path button here, you see all of this has been turned into a path. And if I zoom in and click on my path again, this becomes editable, editable path. So I could even stretch this out if I wanted to. You know, make my name a little bubble letters on the ends or, you know, anything that you like. Just kind of mess around with it. And um, you have your different types of handles here to help you get really detailed with what you've uh, drawn over in GIMP. So let me just close this down a bit because that's kind of ridiculously big and funny looking. Okay, not that it matters much. Okay, so with this done now, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, File and Export. Well, actually here it's Save As. So Save As. And when this comes up, um, I'll just save it here. And then I'll just click number 2 and Save. Okay, so that's all done. And now I can go to Blender. So here's Blender. And um, I'll just create, um, I'll just create a, uh, a square, a cube for now. There's my cube. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to Import. Um, an SVG and then I'm just going to look for it and 
there it is, an import SVG. And it's here inside of the box, and it's really going to be uh, small. So I come over here and click on this curve, because that's actually an SVG, it's a scalable vector graphic. And so you can see how tiny that is. So I'm going to go into top view at number 7, hit S for scale, and I can scale that up. The only problem is, is that it's far away from the origin, but we're going to fix that. So I'll put that right there. Alright, and with that done, you can play in the curves um, if you want to with that, but um, I'm going to leave it just as it is for now, and I'm going to go to Alt and C, and that brings up my Convert To menu, and since this is a curve, it really won't work um, with the cube, I have to change it into Mesh. So Alt and C and convert to mesh from a curve. Okay, so now this is mesh and if I put it in edit mode, you can see that it is. Let me kind of select it all. There we go. So that's how it looks as a mesh right there. Don't worry about all of this geometry. What we're actually going to be doing is just using the shape of it. And we'll be getting rid of this whole thing in a moment. Okay, so with it as a mesh now, I'm going to uh, come in here and I'm going to snap my origin uh, back to the geometry. So it's right there in the middle now. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode again. And with all of it selected, I'm going to hit E for extrude, Z for the Z axis, and pull that straight down. And it is black because the text inside of um, Inkscape was black. Okay, so with that done now, uh, let's go into wireframe just so that maybe you can see this a little bit better. And there we go. And back in front view. So let me take this and whoops. Object mode. And you can do it however deep you want to do it. You know, I don't really want it that deep, maybe just a nice little shallow cut. Okay, so back into um, solid mode here. I'm going to come into this outliner and for the curve I'm just going to turn it invisible. It's there, we just can't see it. Right clicking on the cube and go into the modifier stack, our panel tab, um, add modifier and it's going to be the boolean. boolean. Um, you'll see that this is red right now because not everything that you need for it to work is actually here. So we're going to use the um, curve, which is actually the word, as the object to interact with the cube. So clicking here, you'll get a list of everything that you do have in your scene that's usable for this. And now I have curve here. As soon as I click curve, you'll see that uh, by default intersect is actually here. So, uh, as soon as I click on the curve, then it does exactly what I want it to. I can select the curve here and, whoops, okay, so what did I do? I hit something, and, oh, I hit something to render it. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. So let me click and select this. And I can grab it and it's not going to let me grab it. 
I was going to say, if you want it deeper, you can grab it and pull it down deeper, but... Let's see if we can get that to work. So, pull it down a little bit deeper. And there you go. You see that it went in there even further? Turn it back on and maybe um, grab it up a little bit, move it up. It's just a tiny bit in there. I was still quite a bit, wasn't it? But anyways, there you go. That is how you can get uh, things carved into objects inside a blender using your vectors, graphics program, and drawing things in GIMP. Have fun. Make sure, please, that you subscribe to the channel and um, give us a thumbs up and share the links and um, happy building.